have an insane bantamweight bout to main event at UFC Vegas 60 this weekend between Corey Sanhagen and Song Yudong. Yudong, the new up-and-comer coming through, looking to build off of his momentum coming into this fight and really earn a shot at the title. Now, Corey Sanhagen, on the other hand, has been fighting the top of the division for an incredibly long time, is ready to solidify his position and get back into the winning column to potentially head towards a title shot soon. But let's get to the stats. We've got Corey Sanhagen coming in with a 14 and 4 record. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall with a 70 inch reach. Two fight losing streak with a unanimous decision loss to Piotr Jan for the Bantaway interim title back in October of last year, I'm pretty sure. And TJ Dillashaw before that was a close split decision. Both of them main events, or at least five rounds, both of them going the decision. So he's been a lot of time in the cage last year in his last couple fights. Notable wins, obviously, over Frankie Edgar, Marlon Marais, and Rafael Asuncel. Notable losses, obviously, against Piotr Jan, TJ Dillashaw, and the current champion in Aljamain Sterling. Now, let's go to Song Yudong. He is coming in with a 19-6-1 record. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall with a 67-inch reach, which I think could prove to be a little difficult in this fight, potentially. Coming in with a three-fight winning streak, a lot of momentum with a first-round finish over Marlon Marais, second round finish over Julio Arce and a split decision win over Casey Kenny. All of them in 2021-2022. Nettle wins obviously Marais, Casey Kenny, Julio Arce and Marlon Vera in a unanimous decision win back in 2020. Both of these guys bring a ton of experience to the cage. Corey Sanhagen, I absolutely love watching him fight. It's almost like he is in this flow state. He moves so beautifully for a guy his height in this division he is never stationary he's constantly moving and the movement and the, his length are so incredibly hard to deal with and it's so hard to find opponents or training partners to replicate his style you know, he's constantly switching stances. He does a good job of using his lead hand to trap set and create opportunities. And when I say trap set, he grabs the wrist. And he did a really good job against Piotr Jan with that before Jan kind of adjusted. But one thing that is key to Corey Sanhagen's game, it's high volume, high pace, and incredible cardio. So it is going to be interesting to see how Song Yudong can match up against somebody who moves a lot, who has very high volume, and is very hard to hit. Corey mixes up his targets very well. He blends in his takedowns, which is beautiful. He's kicking to the body, to the head, hands are targeting the body, the head, and he's blending in his takedowns. Even if he doesn't get the takedown or his opponent gets back up straight away, it's giving them a different look instead of just the one-dimensional striker that a lot of people think he is. He mixes up his timing on his punches. He punches on the offbeat, and if you watch him, he does a really good job of offloading his shoulder, like offloading that right shoulder and throwing that right hand from the offloaded position has a lot of success with that and it does a lot of damage and you know it stings in the long run he makes his opponent miss a lot and makes them almost frustrated to the point where he forces out the mistakes he had a lot of success against TJ Dillashaw in a couple of those rounds with frustrating TJ and you know not being there and, and making him a very hard target to hit and he was able to capitalize off that and do a lot of damage to TJ in that fight but he's very patient when he picks his shots uh he does a good job of staying safe, goes one way, then peels the other, constantly making it hard for his opponents to find him. However, with so much movement and angles, whilst it's good on one side, he does tend to slow a little bit. Obviously not to the point where he's just stationary. As the fight progresses, particularly with guys who can match his pace, match his cardio, match his volume, he does start to get a little bit more stationary as the fight progresses. Now, is that going to be a problem? against Song Yudong potentially potentially because of the power he brings to the table it's insane the amount of power he has he's very patient with his striking and when you watch Song Yudong he's still so young in the sport he's constantly growing constantly learning constantly getting better and showcasing new skills every time he steps into the cage no matter how fast he finishes the fight fundamentally he's very sound he very rarely ever opens himself up to be counted incredibly aggressive in the way that he fights but he does it in a smart way which could be potentially beneficial against Corey who does have issues with good strikers that pressure him and close the range aggressively as we've seen Piotr Jan do and look at the TJ Dillashaw fight TJ 
aggressively was closing that range from the get-go because they know with a guy in Corey Sanhagen who uses his range so well and he makes it so hard for his opponents to close that range you have to, you have to be all the way in or all the way out because that middle ground is just a bad time for any of Corey's opponents with Song Yudon he's always right there in his opponent's face but he's very fast with his movement in and out of the pocket which could prove beneficial for him uh the leg kicks are going to be there for Song Yudong as well honestly I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of takes a you know page out of Piotr Yan's book is every time Corey switched stances Yan made a conscious effort of uh hitting that low kick almost making Corey forced to fight in one stance and not switching as much because he was a little bit more conscious of that with Song Yudong his check return is incredibly fast you kick him he's hitting you back with two to three punches straight away incredibly good counter striking his head very rarely stays on the center line when he's throwing his combinations which makes him incredibly hard to hit he does have issues with long opponents that don't stand in front of them with high volume though when we watched the Kyla Phillips fight he played the long game high volume I will say Kyla did slow towards the end of the fight which I don't see Corey slowing as dramatically as that because he's been in this position before he's fought those guys with heavy hands he's been dropped a ton like he's been through the fire and he knows how to fight through those positions and keep that high volume and I think one thing that Corey does very well is he's not throwing a hundred percent power in every single shot that he's throwing some of them he'll just pepper them some of them he'll put a little bit of sting of it and then he'll have his big power strikes which make it so difficult to judge and read the timing and the power on a lot of the things that he throws which could be beneficial to him in this fight song he's got a chin on him if you watch any, any of his fights i swear to god that man has a chin on him and he is incredibly hard to put away kyla phillips did take him down very easily though so i wouldn't be surprised if san hagen mixes that in early or at any point he feels uh yudong gaining momentum in the striking department just fitting in giving him a different look song yudong trains under your eye favor with its team alpha i think it's called now uh it's not alpha male anymore because they have females training there but they've got an incredible team out there of wrestlers and grapplers so even though he might be taken down easily he's very hard to keep down his get back up is phenomenal it's very fast and his cardio seems to hold up over the three rounds if anything i feel like in his last two bouts that he went the distance was against um casey kenny and kyla phillips he kept a consistently strong pace throughout the entire 15 minutes didn't necessarily slow he still had the same amount of power in the first round as he did in the third round which is kind of scary because you know a lot of those type of guys like will, will be very strong in the first round but their power kind of punching power goes as the fight progresses but not with Song Yi Dong he's got a tremendous amount of power and it stays throughout at any point in the fight in this one when we now when we break it down for San Hagen he needs to constantly move it it's got to be the movement and the volume establish his jab keep his jab keep that range and just pick Song Yi Dong apart from range and just just mix in those big strikes here and there just constantly moving because as we've seen in the Kyla Phillips fight Song Yi Dong has a, a very hard time with people that don't stand in front of him and let you throw in the pocket now when Corey does start to get a little bit more stationary he is susceptible to a lot of the leg kicks and he tends to be a little heavy on that lead leg at times just with the way that he moves in and out and he's switching which I could see Song Yi Dong looking to counter off of those particular moments Corey Seneca does have issues with strike is that can match his pace and have high striking IQ which I, I'm gonna give him a little bit of an edge in this one just because of the experience at the level that he's fought I think he's fought a lot more high caliber strikers than Song Yudong has so this is a really big test for Yudong against somebody who has been touted as a as a, as a top prospect for, for an incredibly long time Corey won't ever go away he's incredibly hard to finish because he moves so much he does have a tendency to allow his opponents to pressure him and walk him down if they can stay in the pocket and match his pace and volume so i think for you dong it's going to be about forward pressure being patient don't get frustrated uh with the volume that san 
game brings. You know it's going to be a lot. You know he's going to be moving a lot. He's going to be patient. Pick his moments. When Sanhagen switches stances, look to crack back. Look to counter off of that. Look for the leg kick. If you kind of beat up those legs early on, the likelihood of him switching stances as much in the later rounds is going to be significantly less. So for Yudong, it's going to be about countering off of the stance switches, being patient, cutting off the cage slowly, uh, and doing it in a safe way that doesn't get him hit with a flying knee that Sanhagen has this uncanny ability to land almost every single time that he throws, which is amazing. Now for Sanhagen, it's got to be range movement, be patient, um, volume, you know, establishing everything off the jab. We know that Yudong is looking for that one punch. That's all he needs is that one punch, but he is willing to sit there and trade in the pocket because he is confident in his chin and his ability to take a lot of damage or those hard punches and keep moving forward. Sanhagen is going to be about movement, establish the jab, pick him apart from the distance, use his range, volume, 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 and just essentially outpoint him because I don't see this one to be ending by a stoppage. If it, if it is going to be by a stoppage, I see it being Song Yudong being able to get the knockout. But I think Corey is so incredibly tough and hard to put away. The likelihood of that happening is very minimal in my opinion. So betting wise, it's kind of one of those like, it's, it's I would bet the distance. And this is kind of one of those ones where it's like very 50-50. It's who can implement their game plan and keep making adjustments as the fight progresses. Uh, so I am not going to make a pick, but you guys let me know who you are going to be picking for in the comments below. This is a really important fight for the Bannerweight division considering, you know, a lot of what is going on right now. We've got TJ Dillashaw fighting Aljamain Sterling for the belt in a couple of months. There's a lot happening. This is a huge opportunity for both of these guys. For Corey, it's about solidifying his position, getting back in the win column and continuing on his path to another title shot for Song Yudong, building off of his three fight win streak momentum. This is a huge step up, big name, big opponent, main event opportunity. This is a huge opportunity for him to showcase and show out and show everybody what he is about. So guys, let me know who you're picking in the comments below. Make sure to like, subscribe and share and I'll see you guys next time.